Ever wondered how to become a pro at React Digest? It's a skill more and more in demand and honestly, it's not as intimidating as it might seem at first. Today, we're diving into what React Digest is, the roadmap to mastering it, and the key topics you need to cover. Think of this like your cheat sheet to navigating the world of React, breaking down complex stuff into bite-sized pieces. All right, let's break down React Digest. Imagine you're building with digital Lego blocks. That's React in a nutshell. Technically, it's a JavaScript library for building user interfaces, but what that really means is it lets you create these independent, reusable pieces of code called components. So why is everyone hyped about React? First off, it's crazy efficient. React uses a virtual DOM, a lightweight copy of your web page's structure. When you change something, React updates just that part in the virtual DOM and then updates the actual web page. This makes your apps super fast and responsive. Second, React is incredibly popular. And that's a good thing because it means there's a massive community of developers out there building tools, sharing knowledge, and generally making life easier for anyone learning React. Learning React opens up a world of possibilities for what you can build. Okay, so you're ready to dive into the world of React Digest. Where do you even begin? Don't worry, I've got you. First things first, you need a solid foundation in the basics, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These are like the essential ingredients in your web development recipe. Once you've got a handle on the basics, it's time to jump into the world of React. Start with the fundamentals, components, props, state, and lifecycle methods. These are the core concepts that form the building blocks of any React application. Next up, level up your skills with advanced concepts like hooks, context API, and routing. Hooks in particular are a game changer. They let you use state and other React features without writing a ton of class-based components. Now let's talk about actually building stuff. Start with small projects, maybe a to-do list app, a weather app, or even just a simple component library. The key here is to get your hands dirty and apply what you're learning. As you gain confidence, challenge yourself with more complex projects. Be patient, stay curious, and keep practicing. All right, let's dive into the heart of React.js, the key topics that'll take you from beginner to pro. First up, components. Think of components as the building blocks of your React application. They're like self-contained units of code that represent a specific part of your user interface. You can have simple components like a button or an input field, or more complex components that are made up of smaller components. Next, let's talk about state. State is like the memory of a React component. It's where you store data that can change over time like user input, the current page, or the items in a shopping cart. Whenever the state of a component changes, React automatically updates the UI to reflect those changes. This is what makes React apps so dynamic and interactive. Now let's talk about props. Props, short for properties, are how you pass data from a parent component to a child component. Think of it like passing a message or a set of instructions from one part of your app to another. Props are read only, meaning a child component can't modify the props it receives. Hooks. Hooks are a relatively new addition to React, but they've quickly become an essential part of the library. Hooks let you hook into React features like state and lifecycle methods from functional components. This means you can write cleaner, more concise code without having to use class components. Next up, Context API. Context provides a way to share data between components without having to pass props down through every level of your component tree. Routing allows you to create different views or pages in your app and navigate between them without having to reload the entire page. And finally, let's talk about state management. So there you have it, your crash course in all things React Digest. We've covered what React is, why it's such a big deal, and the essential skills you need to master it. Remember, the best way to learn is by doing. Now that you know what it takes, why not start your journey in mastering React Digest today? Dive into those online tutorials, experiment with small projects, and don't be afraid to get your hands dirty with some code. See you in the next video.